I think public art does a, a bunch of different things. It marks a place. It begins conversation. I think it also says something about the value of art in the society itself, that maybe not everything needs to be utilitarian, but that there is some kind of higher purpose or expression of creativity. Making an entrance is important. I think it sets up a lot of anticipation for the things to come. First of all, we wanted to make sure that whatever we install at our entrance represented what we envisioned for the community. The vision of Harmony, it was to have a real focus on art and, by extension, culture. They knew they wanted something big, they wanted something impactful, that sense of wonder and exploration. A destination, and hopefully for some, even an inspiration. that this is a brand new community. I wanted to have something that referenced the past, but was also something contemporary at the same time. The plow is definitely a strong inspiration for this. And of course, there's thousands of different plows, and I looked at lots of them. The, the Lister plow was something that I felt was interesting for me in its sculptural form, because it has these almost kind of wing-like shapes that come off of it. So I think it has lots of different kind of opportunities to be read in a number of ways. The Copthorne family pioneered the Springbank region, dating as far back as 1897. Uh, these lands that Harmony sits on uh, were part of their land holdings. And what we ultimately liked about the Cultivate piece was that it was a piece that really honoured the heritage of the Copperthorne families and the region in general. But it also told a story about, you know, sowing new seeds for a new beginning, and that's what Harmony is doing. Art really helps us define our sense of space. It really helps create an atmosphere, create a sense of excitement, a sense of discovery, um, and something that's unexpected. As we refine the initial concept, we start to realize what the scale, the actual finished dimension of the piece will be. We start to realize what are the actual materials we're going to be building out of. The metal we chose is called Core 10 steel. So it's actually designed to rust, and then that rust stops and forms a seal on the outside. The plate material was laser cut, and then we took those strips and they welded them together, they seamed them. And the panels that we have, the way they are today, they're much larger than an actual piece of steel. Which one are we start with? We have to hoist them into place and weld them onto the framework. Shadows are great. Shadows are good. Patterns holding together really well. We're not getting too much um, pop out of like loose ends. So when we were reviewing the, the art pieces, the plows today, you know, we're looking for the structural integrity of the piece. It's always a balance between complexity and being able to view it at this distance objects of great mass and scale. They have a gravitas and kind of strength. I wanted these to read not as kind of just large monolithic forms. What I was thinking was really this kind of luminaria or light box sort of appearance. So I started off kind of thinking about patterning of uh, fabric and of wallpaper. And of course it was nice that thistles grow in this area and you know, it was in the back of my head. At nighttime, you'll get this beautiful glow that will emanate through the piece. So this kind of glowing thistles, actually. The outside edge, and today is a big day for us. Uh, today was the day that all the sculptures got uh, unbolted from the location that we made them in. They're fully made, and they got loaded on a track. It's going to be a very fun thing to watch going down the highway, I can assure you. You'll see lots of cars with cameras out the windows. Like, what in the world is this coming down the street? It's really 
really come together. It's, it's beautiful. So today was the first time I've actually seen the pieces installed, and I loved it. I'm really excited with what we're doing, so it, it'll be special every time I drive by. Today is actually one of those days where, you know, finally you, you say, is it going to work or is it not going to work? It's going to work. This definitely is going to be both a destination and a large statement. Originally, it is this flat grassland, big open sky. And as you're driving down this boulevard, it curves around. And that's the moment when you're going to realize there's really something here. It has been an incredible journey. It's certainly a highlight of my career. I've, I've never been part of such a process. And it will become known as one of the most significant installations within the region. And I think we'll, we'll actually see people wanting to come out to Harmony to see how it was built, what was built. And for us, we take great pride in knowing that we've contributed positively to the arts community and, and furthering the importance of public art. It's really interesting for me because it talks about the creation, the, the starting off cultivation of uh, the community and planting those first seeds. Where is this thing going to grow from here?